Hi there. So last time we explored GPT-4 Pro Mini and saw its performance with respect to both cost as well as accuracy. And we found that it's pretty, pretty darn good and it's way, way cheaper. Now, for some use cases, it makes sense to fine tune your model. For example, if you are in a particular domain and you are not finding correct results when you are using the LLM directly, for example, using few shots, what you can do is you can fine tune your own LLM for your specific use case or domain. And that is exactly what we are going to do today. So what we are going to do is we are going to fine tune uh, GPT-4 Pro Mini with the OpenAI APIs and we are going to fine tune for a specific domain, for example, merger and acquisition. So what we are going to do is we are going to extract information from news articles pertaining to mergers and acquisition. For example, who is the acquirer? What is the deal size and all? And that sample we will be using it to you know, fine tune a model. So we'll have all the steps covered. For example, creating that data set, then you know, fine tuning a particular job, then finding the status of that particular job, and then actual extractions. So let's get started. One of the advantage that we see is if you go to the documentation of fine tuning GPT-4 Mini, then you know at least for 2 million tokens per 24 hour period, it's free, which means you don't have to pay anything for that. So if you wanted to do some experiments which are you know very not very data intensive, then definitely you can try this. And definitely if you wanted to try with a bigger data set, even then the cost is pretty cheap. So that's a very good news. So now let's get started with the notebook that I have created. And this contains everything which you need. So basically, uh, if you follow this notebook, you will be able to fine tune your own model and you will be able to get the results also. Uh, and you just need to change you know few things and you can you know uh, use it for your own task so let me walk through one by one so basically in this cell what we are doing is we are just mounting uh, you know our drive so nothing special here now we are installing we are installing two libraries one is definitely openai the other is json lines and again json lines we are installing because we need to make sure that the files that we use for training those are in you know uh, json l format so basically it's nothing but a json format with new line and it becomes pretty much easier if you use directly this library i will have a walk through exactly what we are trying to do here but yeah install this library along with openai so that's exactly what we have done now i will skip this step and i will just directly come to here now what i am doing is i'm just copying you know some configuration for example openai key from here and i'm just setting it here if you want to set your own OpenAI keys, you can set it here. You can set environment variables directly using you know .env file and all, so that you directly can do. So basically, what here we are trying to do is just having the environment variable OpenAI API key set. Now the next thing that we can do is instantiate our OpenAI instance, and that's exactly what we are trying to do here. Now what we are doing here is we are creating our own data set. Now if you want to use this Collab Notebook, what you have to do is pretty simple. You have to just replicate this for your use case. Now if you see what I have done is I've just given it a system prompt where I'm saying given a merger acquisition news headline, provide the following fields in JSON dictionary wherever applicable. For example, acquirer and deal size. So basically what I want to do is I want to get in JSON format both the acquirer, the company which acquired a company, another company and the deal size because we are you know, dealing with merger acquisition domain. We are trying to extract information from different news articles. So basically what we said, what we said was that this is a system uh, prompt and the idea is to extract two things which is acquirer and deal size. Then what we do is we have another message and the message is of type user where we give a content of you know merger acquisition news. So basically first you give a system prompt, then you give a 
user prompt where the actual news is fed and third will be assistant you know prompt and what assistant is going to do is it is going to extract both the acquirer from this news article as well as deal size so for example let's see the first one so first one says that you know listed media and gaming firm nazara technology said on friday that it it acquired the remaining stake uh, xyz for rupees 300 crore so the information where we are interested is in acquirer which is nazara technologies as well as you know the name apart from name the deal size which is 300 crore and exactly that's what we are providing it a content so acquirer is nazara technologies and deal size is 300 crore now once we have for example 10 examples and uh, you know 10 examples are mandatory for fine tuning the model that's what we are going to do uh, you know we are we are we are providing 10 examples here so once we have all those examples ready in this format we are going to store it in a json l format and that's why we installed the json l library json lines library so basically it is nothing but you know each of this is stored as a json and a new line is added so it's pretty easy to do with json lines library so that's what uh, we have this data set you can replace it with your use case then you can just replace this file name and it's just saving this file name and here what i have done is i'm just reading through those you know uh, file and i'm just going through each item so for example there are 10 items so if you see you know i just printed you know the 10 examples so again as i said it's it's a you know system prompt then there's a news article and then the actual response that is needed so this is how it is going to train and once we have it trained what we are going to do is we are going to again provide it these few things for example the system prompt as well as the content in form of a news and we will expect it to give us the uh, acquisition company the acquirer as well as the deal size so that's what we'll see whether it it's able to extract or not so we put it into JSONL format. Then what we are using is we are using file APIs. So you know within if you see OpenAI documentation, you have to create it as a particular file. So you upload this training file. So we are just saying you know please upload this MNA JSONL for the purpose of fine tuning. And what you can get is you can get the ID of this particular file. So once you run this job, you will get the ID that's exactly what we are doing so we are storing this id in you know uh, this specific parameter and this is exactly what is there and this you will need this you will be needing in the next step so once we have the file id and it's uploaded what we do is we create a job and once we create a job we have to you know specifically say which files we are using definitely because we have made it parameterized we can again you know uh, pass the file name directly and then we have to specify exactly which model we are trying to use so here we are using gpt4 mini and you know this specific model as such so that what we have to create so this will create a job it will give it a file name it will use gpt4 or mini with this specific version and it is just printing the job now once you create the job definitely it will you know take some time to run so it, the answer will not be immediately available because you know definitely it runs in background and you know it's a long process so what we need is the id for that particular job so exactly that that is what we are storing it here so param file tune job id actually uh, you know contains the id from this specific result so if you see ft job this one so exactly this is what it is going to do and why it is needed is because you know uh, we need to see or we need to find the status of you know this particular job if it is trained or not for example here when i you know see the state as such uh, like i am just giving so there is an api called retrieve you can have the job id sent to this so this job id we can send it to this and it gives you some output and the output contains many things but the most important thing which is you know uh, necessary for us is the status part so basically if you see the status is saying you know validating files again after some time maybe you know after one or two minutes the status will be running now to automate this where you know we don't have to you know each time 
check this status what we can do is we can you know run a loop that's exactly what i've done so until unless status becomes succeeded we go for a sleep for 10 seconds so that is what is going to happen here so if your format data format is right you can just change your you know json file you can run it you can wait you know uh, this is going to run forever not forever i mean for some time until unless the status becomes succeeded and when say status becomes succeeded we are ready to go so for example when this is finished i just again said you know what is the status because the status is succeeded that's why it quit the loop and it came here so that's what's happening here now once it is you know succeeded what we need is a, a fine tuned model name so basically what happens is from this job what you do is you you know have a specific name for this particular uh, model so that's exactly what we are trying to do so we are just you know trying to extract the exact fine tune model so this is what we will use for reference going forward so the steps is for example if i uh, if i have to repeat again you just create a job you wait for it to succeed and once it succeeds you will get the model name from there and that fine tuned model is exactly what we will use for the next api calls now since we are ready what we can do is we can do a chat completion we can call chat completion api and what i have done is i have just given it a you know system message just like what we had earlier and i just passed it a, a you know small news snippet for merger and acquisition and if i you know pass it see the answer answer is acquire a tech giant in company and deal size is 15 billion and it extracted from this particular thing so that that means yeah definitely it was successful and it gives you in the proper format of json that is what our you know specific use case was we didn't want it to extract one by one we wanted to extract it as a json in you know single format with these two entities and that's why we have done all the fine tuning so this is success successfully extracted Again, I gave it a second news article and it was able to extract, you know, the acquirer as well as the deal size from this news article. So this is pretty exciting to me, you know, with, you know, maybe hardly five to 10 minutes fine tuning, we are able to get the results properly. And once we are done, we can delete this specific model also. So what I have done is I've just deleted this. So this way, you know, uh, we have cleaned up the model also. So again, emphasizing uh, this is a complete notebook. You just have to, you know, make your own data set, maybe change the file names. And if you run, you will get all the results. So you can check those results and we are done. So thank you. Thanks for watching. Bye.